Do you ever find yourself wandering up and down the wine aisle of your local liquor store or grocery store? Well, a wonder no more, you as Council Wine Guy has got you covered. Let's taste some wine. Hello, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy, and I'm back to give you a no frills uh, tasting of the everyday wines you'll find on the shelves of the local liquor stores and uh, grocery stores. Today I'll be sampling three wines uh, by Lees and Fitch. I'll be sampling the Pinot Noir, 2015, 2012 Zinfandel, and this is a 2015 Firehouse Red Blend. Uh, when I get to that wine, I'll tell you what the blends are. All right, so we're going to start first with the Pinot Noir. <clears throat> Again, with these simple tastings, it's simple thumbs up. If I recommend, thumbs down. Don't even bother. All right. Mmm, beautiful nose. I mean, very, very cherry, rich, creamy on the nose. Very rich. Here we go. That's my rinse. Now for my taste. Very light, nice fruity, nice fruity in the mid palate. I mean, it's kind of like a in between. I'm not completely sold on it, but I would recommend it for everyday red. You know, so the Pinot Noir 2015 Lees and Fitch. We'll give it a we we'll give it a partial thumbs up. Okay, but well, give it a try. Next in the lineup is going to be the Zinfandel. Let's get this open. So for the Zinfandel. So it's 2012. I believe on the market it may have 2014 and you may find some 2015 on the market as well. Now, being an older wine, it has a little nice plumminess, dark, deep fruit. Maybe slightly, slightly, you know, coming to the end of its time. So, I would recommend for the Zimmerdale, if the current vintage 2014, if you can find, or 2015, maybe even 16. If those taste as, as stable as the 2012, I recommend. But 2012, I would say it's probably uh, beyond its prime at this level of a buy. So that is the, I'm going to give that one a thumbs down, okay, for 2012. But I recommend trying a current vintage that I think is a pretty good stable wine. And now for the Firehouse Red. The Firehouse Red is a blend. I had to do some research on this one. Too many times we purchase a blend, we don't even know what the grapes are. So this is a blend of Petit Syrah, Syrah, Merlot, Zinfandel, Barbera, Tempranillo, and Mouvedra. Okay, so this is the Firehouse Red from Lees and Fitch, 2015. There we go. First for the rinse, now for the taste. For myself, uh, this would be a thumbs down. You know, so let's do a recap. Pinot Noir, I think, would be a, a great table everyday red drinking wine. So we give it a thumbs up. The Lees and Fitch 2012 Zinfandel, gonna give it a thumbs down. I, I think it's uh, probably. Uh, past its prime, but if you can find a current vintage, I believe it's very stable and for a good wine. You know, if the vintage is cur current, so try that. To 2015 Firehouse Red for my palate, definitely does uh, thumbs down. You know, I almost felt like uh, chewing on a toothpick. You know, very little fruit, very little flavor. You know, maybe still young yet, but I personally recommend it as a as a drinking wine at this time. 
So this is your Wisconsin wine guy. Remember to always, these are my opinions for my palate, but let your palate be the guide when selecting wine. See you next time. Bye.